Mellow greetings, Mary Tubians. Welcome back to Rune Factory 3 Special, where we continue on with all of the socializing and stuff that we've been doing. Oh wow, it is late. I was exploring too, wasn't I? No, I was out fishing to catch all the weird fish. And then there's, is it the catching contest today? Or was that yesterday? I think it's today. Oh, it might be in two days. I think it's the 15th. Yeah, it's the 15th. And the 19th is the flea market. I don't know what that is. And the summer harvest festival. So I've got to make sure I've got stuff for that. Although, why is it the summer harvest festival if it's autumn? I am confused. But that's okay. Because we're going to have fun regardless of my level of confusion. Now, first off. Let's water all the crops. Why does the one in the middle not want to grow? And seriously, is that one in the middle sprouted at all? No, I didn't want to eat you. I've just been playing um, uh, 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 the other game, Story of Seasons. Um, so all my button presses are around the wrong way right now. Is that corn ready to go? No. But that is okay. Um, and for anybody who didn't watch the Story of Seasons episode, that would have gone up about an hour before this one. Again, I do apologise for having missed a day. I was just not in a fit mental state to be recording. Uh, hopefully that won't happen again moving forwards, but you never know. And I am told that I need to learn to put my own mental health first, which is a fun thing to be reminded of at my advanced age. But... Sometimes you just gotta do you first, and I am trying very hard to learn that. And I guess it's a struggle we all have, really. We're so used to being gung ho about everything for everyone, and we're told that we need to do so much for others and to take care of everybody, and sometimes we get lost in that shuffle, and it takes an outside source to remind us. That we got to do for us as well. Alright, just selling off all of the random stuff we can pick up. Except that blue grass, because I think I don't have a complete set yet. Oh, and of course now it starts raining. Typical. It's also a bit of a, a shock at the moment. I've got my um, my partner and I do a sort of, I guess, cultural exchange of games where he asks me to play games that he absolutely adores that he thinks that I'll, I'll get a kick out of and enjoy. Um, and I do the same thing to him. So right now he's got me playing Wild Arms um, on the as a PlayStation 1 classic. And I have him playing Rune Factory 4 Special. And being able to see somebody come at the game so, so differently to how I do things is just absolutely delightful. It is so phenomenal. Um, but it's also a bit jarring because he was playing last night. So to come from the Rune Factory 4 special graphics into the Rune Factory 3 special graphics is a bit of a difference. Not a bad difference by any means. I definitely enjoy the graphical style of both games. Sophia, what are you doing? I need to make you a meal. Why are you in my house? Why are you going to my house? You're in my house. I can't invite you to go do stuff. I don't get an invitation option. But I will cook you a random sliced apple. I don't understand why sliced apple isn't a recipe when everything else seems to be. But it gets us something that our girl will love. Oh, that's right, I was fishing for a can or a boot. Because she likes stuff like that. And wrong button, and right button. Oh, she's still on seven, we're getting there, we are getting there. So good to see. Good day. Hello. 
Oh, I can invite you. Okay. There was some sort of mix-up because Chef packed a huge amount of food. Papa was highly satisfied. He always had a tiny appetite, after all. He eats countless meals in a day. I told him, since he never finishes even a single portion, Evelyn had to go and help with the cooking. We were completely at fault for the whole disaster, but for some reason, Evelyn came back from the kitchen looking awfully apologetic. <laughs> that almost sounds like you're owning up to some sort of mistake, but you really aren't at all. Oh, hey, Sophia, do you want to come hang out with me for a bit? No, if possible, I wouldn't mind going to Vale River to see the ice flowers. <gasps> nice! Alright, so she's actually asked us to take her somewhere. And technically, we're not in working in this area yet, but let's go take her to see the ice flowers. <gasps> How unsightly. I could see someone getting so entranced by this view they'd stay until they froze. Yeah, though I hope we won't literally freeze. <laughs> True, we could hardly chat if we were frozen. Oh, so you're admitting to having fun right now. <laughs> Never mind that. What do you say we take a short break? We came all this way, after all. It'd be far too meaningful if we just turned around and left. True. Let's hang out for a bit, then. See, Garion, is it boring being with me? Uh... Oh, that's just mean. It's an excuse to talk to Evelyn. Incredibly. So, um, th that means you think it's fun? Yeah, you're lots of fun. Uh, wait a minute. You're opposites. Why? Huh, so, so you really think I am? Oh, that's an awfully unflattering thing to say. Why'd you ask? It feels kind of out of left field. I was curious as all. A part of me can't help but wonder if you wouldn't be happier with someone more twisted than I am. <laughs> I could ask you the same thing, but that's the best part. What is happiness anyway? That's the best part. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? Are you saying you hate it when I insult you? Um, I see. I wasn't aware that you had that preference. I admit I find it rather normal, but to each their own. Though, could you maybe give me a little more personal space now that I know that? Oh no! Did I say the wrong thing? Still, I'm glad you think of me that way. Thanks. Of course I think about you. Why wouldn't I? You're the one I hate, after all. I... I am? Say, um, Gary, wouldn't it be nice if we could be together like this forever? I just remembered I have plans. No. <laughs> yes. Yes. Just having you here with me is enough to fill me with dread. Same to you. Yeah. It's the worst. I hate you, Gary. Now and always. I'm curious, though. Why do you go to all the trouble of saying the opposite of what you mean all the time? Why? Because I want to make lies the truth. Huh? I don't mind if people think I'm honest. I am this way because I wanted to be. You made yourself this way? I don't understand. Well, then, that being that, we've been here long enough. Let's make our way back. Do, do you still like me after I said the wrong thing? I feel like you do. Alright, we're still at a 7, but I may have missed an opportunity to get up to an 8 there. I'm so Let's just have a quick talk. I still feel quite terrible. That's alright. Oh. Did that count as a date? I guess I can leave you be here. Oh, okay. Don't ever invite me again. I'll be waiting to hear from you. You're going to go back to my house, aren't you? Uh, now, we need to do some more work for Evelyn if we can. Or for Sherman. Um, some orcs are getting troublesome. Alright, let's do Sophia's quest. Maybe this will get us to the 8? In you go. 
I'll let you into my house first. Good day. Did you see my request? Yes. What is it you want me to look into? Come with me. Huh? I want to know why Evelyn has been crying. Huh? huh? Shh. Sorry. Sorry. But what do you mean? A few nights ago, I went to visit her in her room. But when I peeked through the crack in the door, I saw her sitting in front of her work desk, weeping bitterly. Oh no, did something bad happen? I'm not sure. I don't care at all, so I was thinking about asking around town to see. Will you help, Garion? <sighs> of course. Do you have any clues? I recall she was deeply invested in some new clothing design or another for a while beforehand. I'm sure it must have something to do with that. Hmm, that's not a ton to go on. I'm sure if we just ask around, someone ought to know more about it. Don't let on about Evelyn crying, though. I'm sure she wouldn't want everyone hearing about that part. Gotcha. Let's go. Alright, so we know that Evelyn was making an outfit for Gaius, so let's start there. Uh, where is Gaius? Gaius is not home. Let's try Raven. I'm here to chat. It's about Evelyn. Have you missed her lately? No? Really now? <laughs> and I guess everybody else in town is very used to Sophia's way hey of there. doing things. Hey there! Good day. Saint Carmen? Hey. hey Sophia, what's up? When you last saw Evelyn, did anything about her strike you as particularly normal? Hmm, let me think. I did spot her fishing the other day. I went over to say hi. <laughs> She just landed a whopper. I congratulated her and she mentioned something about using it for new clothes. So, yeah, I can't say I noticed anything particularly out of the ordinary. I see. <sighs> so, who would she be making clothes with fish for? Um, apparently nobody's home, but there's a traveler in the store? Right, let's go see if we can find Shara. Uh, we could try Karina, I guess. I feel like clothes with fish might be peer though. That's Hazel. Hello. Welcome. I'm just here to chat. Huh? You want to know if anything struck me as off about Evelyn? Uh. Nothing obvious. She chatted with Karina when she came in to pick up some veggie seeds, but she seemed alright. She said she was going to try making some new clothes from the materials that grow from those seeds. That's a normal conversation for her? Yes, if you can believe it. Alright. And it could be Daria. I haven't had a lot to do with Daria, honestly. But I feel like Fish and Plants says Pia to me. I just want to chat. Oh, it's Gary and Sophia. What are you two doing together? Listening to your favourite soaps, ranking your top 100 hot springs, discussing optimal splashing technique? <laughs> Not exactly. I wanted to talk to you about my sister for a second. Let me stop you right there. Fish do not make for good dresses, so tell her not to try anything funny. Pretty sure she wasn't gonna. Ah. I just want to chat... Do you know where Evelyn might be, Sakuya? Now that you mention it, I haven't seen her around lately. Ah, uh, does that mean she found a different supplier? How could she forsake me after all the business we've done together? Oh, woe is me! How about we take a deep breath first? So... Am I going to get anything new out of... Fish don't make good food. Alright, okay. Well, actually, fish make great food, but not great clothing. Um, maybe she was trying to use her tears as clothes. Hey, Sherman. Papa, about Evelyn. Oh, Sophia. I wasn't about to ask you the same thing. Why isn't Evelyn trying to grow iron leaf in the family garden? Perhaps it's a plan to prevent surreptitious snacking? Surreptitious snacking? That actually makes a massive amount of sense to me. Hey, Colette. Hey, Colette. Hello. 
One potato, two potatoes, three potato, four. Four potatoes make a bunch of soda, many more. Sorry. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potato, more! Yikes, I'm just gonna make myself hungry if I keep this up. Excuse me, Miss Sue Chef, have you seen Evelyn anywhere? I didn't eat her, I swear! Speaking of, got anything yummy to eat, Sophia? That voracious appetite of yours never ceases to amaze. I positively detest it. I guess I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I give it a 50-50 chance. Okay, I don't know if Blaze would know anything. I don't want to see Mary yet. Uh, do I know what Evelyn is doing? Alright, so it's got to be something to do with this iron leaf. That she's trying to grow. Hey there, Karina. Karina, do you know if something happened with Evelyn? That's a weird question. Why do you ask? I saw her crying at her workbench earlier. I thought we weren't telling people. Is it really okay to blab about her personal business like that? Of course it is. Karina's a friend. Yeah. Actually, I remember her saying something about making pants for someone. Something like that, anyway. Oh! oh. What is it, Garion? Don't tell me it was you. Nope. Do you think it's what Gaia sorted? The Iron Man? Yeah, I helped him gather some materials not too long ago. Hmm, very suspicious. Then it's settled. Let's go see Gaius. Ah, so I did actually have it right the first time. I just need to work out where the heck Gaius is gone. I don't think he would be at the cauldron. He is neither up nor downstairs. He is not presently appearing on the map. Could he maybe be at the beach? Hey, Rusk. Hey. Hello. You, apprentice chef. Have you noticed anything in particular about Evelyn lately? Mm, mostly it's impressive how she can talk down to literally anyone, but that's nothing new. No comment. Alright. If I were an adorable blacksmith, where would I be? Maybe in Prevera? I think, have I seen him in Prevera? Hey there. Um, definitely not seeing him there. Uh, maybe the desert. I feel like I've seen him at the entrance to one of the dungeons. Um, there he is. I see him, I see him. Yeah, okay. How do I get down there? Alright, do not get distracted, my beloved. We are trying to head south. Also, don't get squished, please. Oh, ah. There we go. Blacksmith, do you have a moment? Something up? Oh hey, if it isn't Sophia and Garion, didn't expect to see you two here. We were looking for you. Oh yeah? Got business with me then? Well, I'd hate to keep you standing out here, so why don't we mosey on back to my forge? We can't wait that long. This is important. Sophia, calm down. You're right, this is important, and that's why it's probably best to talk about it somewhere where we can have privacy. Alright, if you insist. I do. I very much insist. There are bad guys here. So, what's up? Well, you see... <laughs> ah, Gaius, here you are. I dropped by a few minutes ago, but I didn't see you, so I went to out, out to look about town. I'm terribly sorry for how long it took, but your new outfit is finally complete. I wanted to deliver it to you as soon as I could. It, it is? Wow, uh, thanks. Oh my, Sophia, you're here too? That's it. That's the outfit. Hmm? It's time for me to come clean, Evelyn. I... I saw you. When you were making that outfit, I saw you weeping uncontrollably. Wait, 
Weeping? <laughs> oh, I see. That's because I used onions to adorn it. And they made my eyes water something terrible. Huh? Really? Underpants made with onions? <laughs> then it wasn't the blacksmith's fault that you were crying? Why in the world would I cry about Gaius? He and I are good friends, after all. And we'll be good friends forever, won't we, Gaius? <sighs> right, right. Oh, Gaius wants to be more than friends. Or maybe the onions are getting to him, too. Maybe this is why we're not allowed to date him. But forget all that. I have to present him with his outfit while it's still at its freshest. <laughs> what a word to use for clothing. I'm sorry about today. I dragged you all over town for what turned out to be nothing. This isn't much, but let me offer it as an apology. See you. See you. Huh? Hold on. None of that sounded like an opposite. Quest complete. Ah, monkey blush. And platinum. Whoa, girl, when you go, you go hard. Alright, do I have any more requests I can do for Evelyn? Hello. Monica, you freak the ever-loving out of me. Um, Evelyn, if you please. Yes. Might not actually be able to do this till tomorrow, but... Uh, we can try and find her, I guess. She's probably at the mansion. <sighs> Gaius? Do you have something you need to tell me? You got a crush on anyone, Gary? And... Huh? Where'd this come from all of a sudden? But yeah, I kinda do. Ah, oh, yeah. Isn't love great? Oh, you are so crushing on Evelyn. I so want to be able to help you with that. What do you think? Mmm, really? it's not bad. Is it not to your liking? I'm thinking of adding a faux fur trim here as an accent. <laughs> Ooh, that could work. <laughs> right, and perhaps here and here. Excuse me. Huh? Oh, Garion, what, what are you doing here? I asked him to come. Garion, I have some materials I'd like you to fetch, if you don't mind. Will you be so kind? <laughs> Sure thing, what do you need? Lumber, please. Three pieces or so. Alright, three pieces of lumber. I'm writing it down because they don't let you see it. Three by lumber. Alright. Um, lumber? For clothing? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's faux fur, isn't it obvious? Oh god, they mean fur like the tree. I thought the spelling looked off. Yes. It's for faux fur, of course. Ah, gotcha. Well, if that's what you want. <laughs> Thank you, that'd be sweet of you. Oh, um, can you also see Marion and pick up some odd ore? Odd ore. I'd rather not go anywhere near Marion, if that's okay, but... You got it! Uh, Alright, we'll go do the lumber, and we'll worry about the odd ore tomorrow, because if I can avoid Marion, I will do so at all costs. Also, it's getting a bit late, and I'm fairly sure most of the stores will be closing up, if not already. Alright, so where did I put my axe? That's a weapon? The monkey plushie is a weapon? That's kind of cool. I did need some more lumber. Alright, those are the three pieces that we need for our lovely lady's sister. Continue to take our lovely lady out. Oh, we're a third of the way to an expanded fridge. That makes me a very happy little... Am I an earth mate in this game? Nobody's actually said explicitly if I am or not. I, I feel like that was a staple of the series, but I genuinely, genuinely don't know when they introduced it. Yeah. 
I know I could pick up bigger stacks, but I also know these disappear off the map if you leave them alone for too long, and I don't want that. Whilst I've got a ton of RP, I've got time. I'm going to clear some fields. Hmm, what crop should I take to the Harvest Festival? First I need to get through that flea market. Oh, I know what a flea market is in real life, but I'm not sure how it works as an event in these games. Oh, we've got glue bugs. I like glue bugs. Not that common here in Australia. Like, we don't see a lot of fireflies skating around the universe. Honestly, if we did, they'd probably be poisonous, so it's probably a good thing. My country gets its reputation for a reason. If it's not trying to eat you, it probably tastes good. I do like this bit where we're kind of sitting up late. I feel vaguely rebellious. In in real life, Ronan would be in bed by now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'd be in bed by now. I wish I could actually play in bed and record at the same time. That would be fantastic. On the flip side, I've never really been a huge one for, for gaming in bed. There's a question for the audience. What is your preferred gaming setup? Where would you rather be? For me, I'm either, if I'm at home at least, I am curled up on the couch or I am plugged into my PC in my study. Which is my private little comfy zone. Although it could do with like an armchair or a beanbag or something to really make it super comfy but we take what we can get right and my desk chair is actually really really comfortable except right now after all the cleaning various muscles hurt and it's pushing on them in a inconsistent fashions yeah big catch contest is tomorrow so that'll probably be in the next episode Oh, that thing is finally sprouting. Maybe I missed watering it one day? And that's why it's behind its friends? And it would make sense. Corn and cucumbers. I think those are either cucumbers or eggplants that we planted. Oh, which reminds me, I've got some more eggplant seeds. Probably sell off some of these cucumbers. And I'm getting quite the collection. We'll sell off that lot. And we might plant out the additional, it's the 14th. Um, ooh, purple grass. Was I full on purple? I don't remember. Yeah, we should probably still have enough time. Um, uh, I've got to go into... Cucumbers are six days, so we can definitely plant those. Um, how long are the eggplants? Nine days. It's the 14th. Yeah, we'll get at least one harvest out of them. 11 days. I don't know that we get another... If, if it's worth planting the tomatoes, we might just sell those seeds. So that we can get higher level ones next year. But we should be able to get away with planting the rest. Um, and yeah, we'll just... There we go. 
that's another eggplant. Find some little cucumber. Oh. Try and fail to make everything soggy. Alright, now we've got to go see Mary. Things I do for love. <sighs> Why must love be so fraught with peril? If I get stabbed by anything. Just trying to impress my girlfriend's sister, man. That's it. I just want to impress her. I should also start putting some stuff away because I'm running out of, my, out of space. And I don't know how to upgrade my bag. Have I seen that? I know that we buy furniture to upgrade the storage inside the house. Um, I know that we go to Blaze to upgrade the fridge, but how do we upgrade our bag? Have I seen that anywhere? Is that even an option? And it's better than the original Friends of Mineral Town where you got two slots. Oh, I don't miss the old days. But I also kind of do. Nostalgia's a weird, weird creature. Alright, that's all the coloured grasses. Okay, let's go see Marion and hope that she doesn't stab us to death. Hello, Marion. I'm here to chat. Marion asked me to pick up something for her. Gotcha! So do you want a potion or a shot? Oh, don't tell me. I know you're here for the shot. No, no, and no. Oh, how about a suppository? Still no. I'm not sick. Evelyn asked me to come pick up some odd ore from you. Oh, you're not? Why didn't you say so? Got my hopes up for nothing. I did say so. Repeatedly. Odd ore, hmm? I have some of that, sure. Here. What's she using it for, anyway? No idea. She asked me to get lumber for her as well. Said something about clothing materials. I think she mentioned faux fur. Ah, interesting. Huh? huh? You, you know about it? Yeah. That I do. Faux fur is exactly what it sounds like. A synthetic replica of animal fur. I think I read somewhere that there's a technique for extracting fibers from lumber to make fur. Oh, that explains the lumber then. Though I do doubt that you can find the equipment for that process this far out into the countryside. Huh, maybe that's why she's asking for the ore then. Maybe. Anyway, if anything happens, you'll come straight to me, okay? I'll keep my syringe sharp and jabby. <sighs> Believe me, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Oh, Evelyn. She's like two doors down the street, dude. You could have asked for this. I can appreciate why you wouldn't. All I need now is three lumber. Thank you. Excellent. That is all the material I require. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. I hope the outfit turns out well. Yes. It ought to. All I have to do is cut these into appropriately sized chunks, sew them on here and there, and viola! Voila. It will be complete. Huh? huh? What's, up? What's wrong? You're making a funny face. Nothing? Just, um, you're going to use that stuff pretty much as is? Yes. Of course. It's important to me that I showcase the natural beauty of my materials. But didn't you say you wanted faux fur? I thought you were going to use it in place of, you know, real fur. Oh, Why ever would I do that? If I wanted to use fur, I would have asked you to bring me some. <laughs> oh, that'll teach me to mix up my homonyms. Anyway, thank you so much for your assistance today. <laughs> this isn't much, but please take it as a reward. 10k is a lot! Thank you! I'll be sure to let you know if I need your help again. Uh, sure. 
Oh, it is worthwhile helping Evelyn. There's just something about faux fair that I love. It's so fashionable. Even its name sounds fresh and brisk. Even though you don't know what it's made out of. Doesn't matter to me. The important thing is that it sounds hip and urban. I'm sure it's just some kind of fashion lingo. Okay, I think I get why you wanted to try it now. You're the clothier, maybe? Maybe you'll let me... Upgrade my... Bag? I can't afford any of your clothes, lady. Thank you kindly. Oh, it would have been logical if it had worked. Hey, Pia. Hey there. Hello. Huh? No one knows how to treat the fishies oh. right. I'm begging you to provide context just once in your life. I'll be as nice to the fishes as I can. Why are you running around carrying around off? Hey Hazel. Hello. Welcome. Um What's for sale? Spring, winter, vegetable. Vegetables, etc. maybe? Welcome. Nope. I will try and buy something next time, thank you. What season are we in? Are we in autumn or are we in winter? Uh, spring. We're in summer, aren't we? So autumn will be next. And what did I need to grow? It was an autumn seed, so it was either yams, maybe spinach? Hey. I'm looking for furniture. I'm gonna need a double bed. That's gonna cost me a lot of money. Ah! Never mind, never mind. Fridge first. Then we'll worry about beds and tables and chairs and. Oh my. Good night, Garion. Today's festival is. Wait. It's all about catching small fish. I thought the festival was tomorrow. <laughs> Isn't the festival tomorrow? And we don't have all the ticker tape all over the place. Oh, maybe you Sukuya. I'm here to shop. Welcome. No. I was hoping if anybody had a sure freaking bag upgrade. Thanks as always. I don't know that there is one. Alright, so let's just double check that. Because I'm sure that the calendar said it was the 15th. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're good, we're good. Present for my sweet love. Yay, value. All right, what have we got here? A lot of stuff from Wells. Probably help Carlos. Um, flower crystals, flower blossoms. Right, let's go see what's on the other big board. No. 
Would that make Monica stop wanting to eat Ming? No, okay. Uh, where did my Sophia go? There she is. Good day. The worst. Oh. Hey, Gallus. Hey there. Hello. Uh, yeah, the relationship between you and your sister creeps me out, dude. But can I buy a better fishing pole? Um, not here for any of these things. I wish I'd known about her telling you about the seasons, though. That would have been really useful with that quest for... Um... What's her face? Why can't I remember her name? The girl from the Unova village. Can I make a better fishing pole? I feel like I probably need string or something for that. Cheap pole? I've already got one of those. Is there a better one? Chopping axe, frost edge. What am I missing? Short daggers, bronze quality cloth. I can do the rest. Can I make short daggers? Yes. All right, let's make those, and we'll try and make this uh, frost edge and see what it does for us. Oh no! What's our rate on this? 20. Ugh. Come on! Yay! We got it! <gasps> okay, that was exhausting. How do they compare? Oops. That's gonna weird out everybody in the village, just suddenly seeing me appear out of nowhere. It would weird me out. Alright, so 46 M20 water elements. 72 def 5 M attack. They're level 2, so I've upped them a bit. Do I actually have any recipe bread right now? I know there was some that I couldn't eat. Because I wasn't learning anything from it. No. Alright. Let's go see what upgrades I can do on these. I like to upgrade. Can I upgrade them using another pair of swords? Alright, scrap metal, no. Alright, let's start with iron. 84% success rate. Oh, come on! Yay! And now let's add in some bronze. Just doing the basics, you know, just success. Keeping a very, very close eye on our RP. Oh. Oh. We can do one more. Wait, kill us. It's gonna come close though. Alright, well they're a little better than they were. 
Where's all our food? Oh yeah, I gotta put the platinum away. And eat. And... Eat. There we go. I knew we had something that would help with our, um... Thing that makes us go. RP. Okay, that just sounds adorable. I'm putting it away. Uh, ah, there it is. Probably going to be a while before we pick up any more platinum, so... Alright, I know it's only halfway through the day, but I feel like it's been a bit of a busy one, so we might call it there. Um, when we come back, I will finish out the day and we will... Uh, go on to the catching contest and do a fishing festival because we know how much. Uh, trying to be better about the whole fishing thing. I'm I'm making an effort. It's not working very well, but I am trying. Um, but no, this is going to be me signing off. So until our next one, enjoy the time that you spend doing things. That's the worst sign off I've ever done. I am really really sorry. This is Rhoda to you signing off. <laughs>